Hello, y'all. I hope that you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Today I'm on a bit of a wild goose chase. We did most of our schoolwork. We're not totally finished. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know about you guys, but the holiday time is very hard for any of us to focus on school. And unfortunately, we normally take more of a break during this time of year, but um, because we were sick, for like the entire month of October. We ended up taking the time we would have taken off in December in October and that stinks because now we don't get the time off that I was looking forward to at Christmas. We finished most of our schoolwork. We've got more to do this afternoon, but I had to run the girls to art class. And while they're in art class, I'm running a few errands because to make a very long story short, as if I ever really do that, Noah, we were having this conversation, something came up and he brought up it was something came up about monkeys and then he was like my monkey blankie and I was like you remember that and he's like yes but he had this blanket from like Carter's I think it was like a baby blanket from Carter's where like one side was like a fuzzy Sherpa and the other side was like a blue and white stripe and it had a monkey head on it and it was his blankie it was his favorite blankie he took it everywhere with him for years Maybe it was like five or six when we finally got rid of monkey blankie because it was literally falling apart. It smelled so bad. No matter how much I washed it, there was no getting like the funk out of it. It was just terrible. So we got rid of it and he seemed fine with it at the time, though apparently he has strong memories because he was like, can I get a monkey blankie for Christmas? And I was like, you want another one of those blankets? He's like, yeah. So I played it off like it was impossible, no way, that's never gonna happen. And it might be because I told him, I'm like, that blanket was made like 10 years ago. I may not be able to find it. But I was like, I, I doubt it, bud. Like that's, I just tried to like really play it off. And now I'm like determined to find him this blanket. And I told CR, I was like, if I can't find it, I will make it because I, it can't be that hard to find a blue fuzzy fabric for one side, a blue and white striped fabric for the other, and then I can just get like an applique monkey head, iron it on or whatever. Like I, if I can't find something very similar, then I'm gonna make it. So that's what I'm doing. I am at this, we don't have a ton of stores in our town. Like there's not a lot of options. <laughs> um, our Target, for example, we do have a Target, which I did not know until after we moved here. I actually moved here believing that there was no Target. Can you believe that? I discovered the Target after we moved here. However, our Target is the one of the kind that has not been renovated since the 90s. So it's got like the neon lines on the walls and stuff. It's very um, old school Target. We have a Ross and a TJ Maxx. This is where I'm thinking I might have some luck. We don't have like a Bye Bye Baby or anything like that. I tried looking online, Amazon, all of that. Could not find anything. So I'm gonna look in these stores, see what I can find while the girls are in art class. And then I need to go to Target. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time to do it while they're in art class, but I gotta go get um, pull-ups and stuff like that. So I gotta run to Target. And then I need to, when we get home, uh, I gotta finish school. But then I have to inventory Christmas presents because I've been buying Christmas presents for months and storing them in the garage in these storage bins and just like bringing stuff in, put it in the storage bin, put a lid on it and put it up. Well, now I feel like I don't have a good accounting of what I have, what I still need to get um, because I'm just, I didn't work from some great list for everyone. It was more like when I see something that's just perfect for someone. Um, of course, kids have things they asked for and stuff, but oh, I need to go through because I feel like some, with some kids, it's just easier. That's just the nature. With eight kids, some kids are just more predictable. They're easier to see like, ah, this kid is gonna love this. This kid's gonna love that. Um, and others are harder to shop for. So I, I'm guessing that I'm gonna be a little imbalanced in what I've got already. So I need to pull all that out and take my little Christmas inventory and, um, yeah, so I can make a make a plan, Stan, for the rest of my Christmas shopping so I can get it all done because I really want everything to be done by December 15th. Stockings, everything. Stockings are the thing that I always save to the last minute and then I am that person combing through crap at Target trying to find something that's not like the worst waste of money ever to put in their stockings. And I don't want to be doing that this year. So let us go into Ross and TJ Maxx and see if we cannot find Le Monke Blanqui. And yeah, we'll go from there. Did I find a monkey blankie? No. Did I find some sour worms and peach rings? Yes. I put the stuff in the back. We'll do a little a little haul when we get home because I did find a few little gifty things and just some cute things. So we'll do a little haul when we get home. I've got to scoot over to pick up the girls from art class and then they will have to accompany me to the pet store and Target because I do not have time to do that before I must pick them up. So. Away we go. All right, it's 5.13, so just tell me what time to come pick you up. 
Okay, that's fine. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Okay, sorry, that was my dad. So I just unloaded the car and now I gotta change my clothes and scurry out of here. So I'm gonna have to unfortunately pick up the vlog tomorrow and do the haul. I just put everything in my room so I could show you guys later, but. Okay. Good morning, I'm getting ready to start school work with the kids, but I wanted to share my little haul with y'all from TJ Maxx and Target yesterday since I did not get to that. Oh, I feel my foot is going to cramp during this. Huh. Um, this is random, but I ordered <clears throat> some a couple of uh, sweaters from Abercrombie on the during the Black Friday sale where they had 30% off. This one, I just put it on this morning. <sighs> I don't know how to explain how soft the texture of this is. And I, I've, I've fallen in love with quarter zips. Again, I always say like never pay full price for things that like Abercrombie and Old Navy and all of that. Never pay full price, always wait for a sale. But I will link this down below because it's insanely, insanely soft and comfortable. I got it in a medium so it would be long enough to wear with leggings, which you can't see, and I'm wearing it with pajama pants anyways. So, very random. Okay, I'm just gonna say that now. It's just random. I just know that I enjoy watching hauls. So, um, I picked this up at Target. It's a dog cookie cutter set. We're gonna make the animals, various animals, some Christmas treats, some doggy approved cookies and things like that. And so these, I just thought this was really cute. Specialty doggy cookie cutter set. Cute. Picked up yet another stocking for a child because, <laughs> ah, I'm glad Target carries these every year because we bought them a few years ago and we've had one singed in the fireplace, one loss, and then this year again, Kennedy and Shelby kept, took their stockings upstairs after Christmas last year and then didn't bring them back down until after I put away Christmas decorations and I didn't think about it. So we couldn't find them because then who knows what abyss I stuck them into. And so anyway, CR went through his closet and he found Shelby's, but he didn't see Kennedy. So I just grabbed her another stocking because I picked up a set of this. Was it just one? It's just one. This threshold kitchen towel. Uh, it was a definite, this was an impulse buy for sure, but I felt it and I was like, man, this feels like super absorbent, like a sham wow type thing. But then it has that thinner feel. I don't know. It just is a very different texture than I'm used to seeing. It's hundred percent cotton, but it just, it just felt cool, like a good uh, dish towel that would soak up a lot. And I liked the color as well, that burnt orange color. It's my fave. If you guys have not smelled this, you are really missing out. Uh, the Myers Clean Day Snowdrop. Got the dish soap. I am notorious for just washing my hands with dish soap. We do that. We keep dish soap, obviously, next to the kitchen sink. And uh, I usually just wash my hands with this dish soap. And I love the way this stuff smells, but I did go hunting and they had one left of the hand soap. So I think I'm going to put this in the bathroom uh, because that's where the kids do the majority of their hand washing while I do the majority of my hand washing at the kitchen sink. So I'm covered either way. These candles were on a clearance like half off thing. These are soy, uh, soy wax blend candles in the smell rustic woodlands. I love the little jar and you know, okay, I, I first discovered these wicks that look more like a, uh, like a popsicle stick inside uh, with the wood wick candles. <clears throat> Jeez, 60 year old smoker there. The wood wick candles at Walmart, um, those have these kind of thicker wicks and we also have the one that's like a boat shape and so the wick runs like the length of, well, I guess that's the width of the candle. Either way. It's cool because it helps it burn evenly, and I like that. Plus, this smells great. Just the right mix of musky and sweet. This one, which is essentially the same candle. I love this kind of coppery colored thing. I'm definitely gonna keep this. When these, um, when these burn out, I'm gonna keep these, and I don't know, maybe I'll try my hand at making my own candles. Where? Probably not, but I can find a different candle to stick inside and call it a day. See behind me here, a whole stack of pull-ups, overnight pull-ups and diapers. They had a, if you spent $100 on diapers, you got a $20 Target gift card. And while it wasn't my ideal way to spend $100, I was like, you know what? I know I'm gonna buy it anyways, so I might as well just go ahead and do that. So I got two boxes of the, two boxes of overnight diapers, two boxes of pull-ups. Good to go. The TJ Maxx. Now, I only allow myself to go to TJ Maxx about once a quarter because there's just, 
Yeah, I could always find something there to buy. As we have been doing a ton of hosting and having people over for holidays and meals, etc., I have found that there are holes in my serving ware. I mean, this is like a cutting board, obviously, but I think these are great for creating like charcuterie boards and displays of various crackers and meats and cheeses and things of the like. And it's very, very durable, heavy, thick, and it was only $14.99. Pretty excited about this, not gonna lie. Things like this are like 80 bucks at other like kitchen stores. So that's the good thing about TJ Maxx is finding stuff like that. Let me show you the other kitcheny thing. This Lazy Susan, how cute is this? Look at that, isn't that pretty? I just thought this would look so pretty in the table where, I don't know, put different dips and stuff like that. Who knows, you can put all kinds of things on a Lazy Susan, but this one was $24.99. So again, just a super good deal. Stuff like that would be very expensive at other stores. Is it weird to show you my underwear? I probably shouldn't, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So uh, I've spoken before about my favorite underwear from Nordstrom that are very similar to this. They're just thongs, but they are super thin. It's like just skin-like, if you will. So it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. I really, really like it. And I liked these because they have a little scallop top. The ones from Nordstrom can be uh, a little pricey. I try to get them on sale, uh, but they have a ton of different colors, like different nude colors. Aslan has eaten a number of pairs of mine. So instead of spending the money to replace those, I just thought this was a much better deal. I want to say it was $16.99 for um, five pairs. So good. There you go. Weird to show my underwear to the internet? Sure, but isn't this whole thing weird? Yes. I also picked up a few dress shirts, um, you know, just button ups for the boys. We don't attend a super formal church or anything where my kids need a lot of very formal clothes, but this to me is a good happy medium if, you know, they can put on a nice button up. Jonah loves to wear a good button up and feel really like, like he looks good. And uh, this is like, they can wear this to church and stuff. But the reason that I got them is because we are going to see a play. Um, we're going to see a Charlie Brown Christmas play on Sunday. And I had ordered some cute Christmas outfits for the kids for like Christmas pictures and all of that stuff and for Christmas. But they're not going to be here in time, of course. <laughs> and I was like, ah, because <laughs> that would have been the perfect, you know, to wear to this play. Anyways, I digress. The twins, Rosie, they all have cute dresses, things they can wear. I noticed on Thanksgiving that the boys were really low on like dress shirt type items. When I did their big fall winter clothing haul, uh, I got them a lot more like comfort wear things since they, you know, just like to play outside and be comfortable and whatever. So anyways, I picked these up. They were $12.99, this plaid, and they can pretty much wear the same size, which is great because it means I can just buy a few different ones and they can share. This blue one, I basically got the three that they had in stock. This one felt a lot more Christmassy to me. So I don't know which ones they'll wear to the play. Probably, maybe these two. I don't know, we'll see. But they have something to wear to the play and they have dress pants, they're good there. At TJ Maxx, I did get some Christmas gifts and I don't know if I'm gonna show those or not because I feel like my kids could watch this and then they're not like any of their big gifts. They're all small, more stocking stuffer type things, but I don't know. <laughs> Um, I picked up this, it was on the clearance section for $7. It's a lightning to USB cable. We can just never have enough. These braided ones that are more like a cord, like a nylon cord, just last a lot longer around here. And uh, yeah, so it's a six foot cord. It was only seven bucks, which is a good deal for those. Also grabbed a bag of these dog whisperer training treats that were $5.99 for the poopies. And then I got this two pack of nail trimmers. Once again, these are the kind of things that seem to float away and nobody knows where they are and they disappear and then no one can find them when we need them. So nail trimmers, just a few little things we needed. I do just wanna point out, this made me irritated. <laughs> I needed a new pair of tweezers because my husband steals my tweezers to pluck things that cannot be named on YouTube. And so, I can never find my tweezers and when I do, I can't trust that they are sanitary any longer for my use. So I wanted a pair of tweezers that I could hide, probably in some kind of a lockbox with like a fingerprint code or something. In the women's side, where they keep all the women's products, a pair of tweezers was $12.99. The cheapest pair of tweezers that I could find over there was about $10. I put them in my cart thinking, well, I guess that's what I don't have to pay for tweezers. I go over to the men's section at the other side of the store and 
a whole, what do they have, but a two pack of tweezers with the pointy ones and the slanted ones for $3.99. It's tweezers. It's not for a man or a woman. They're tweezers. It's for hair. So why do tweezers meant for a lady cost three times the amount of tweezers meant for a man? Huh? Stuff like that irritates me because I feel like I've been had. <laughs> Where I'm like, why didn't I just go to the men's department all along to buy tweezers? Who knew men's tweezers were cheaper than women's tweezers? And what makes them men's tweezers or women's tweezers? Nothing. Nothing. In our bathroom, we have pedestal sinks. There's no storage space on the sinks, hardly at all. Um, and I have like a little mason jar there that I keep my toothbrush in and my face razor for shaving my face. Um, my, my tinkle razor, is it a tinkle or a twinkle? Tinkle, twinkle? Now I feel like it's not a tinkle and I'm calling it a tinkle because I think that's funny. Is it tinkle, twinkle? I don't know. I could go look, I'm not gonna. My toothpick thing, I, I think I pick my teeth with. I keep all that stuff in my, in my toothbrush in my little jar. And it just doesn't, I, I, don't, I don't like the clear. I don't wanna see through it. I don't know why, that sounds dumb. I realize I don't like the clear. So I found this one, it was a DKNY. They had like a little emblem thing on here. I just peeled that off when I got home cause I don't want that. And uh, it was $6.99. One of these days I want to not do like a full renovation on our bathroom because I love 95% of our bathroom. But I would like to, as much as I think the pedestal sinks are pretty, so not practical. <laughs> um, so I would like to replace the pedestal sinks with very small, uh, you know, not super deep uh, cabinets, like single cabinet with the sink and at least a few drawers for hiding things underneath. You know, I just, you're not, I guess, according to the experts, not supposed to keep your toothbrush out on the counter because when you go to the bathroom, poop particles fly around your bathroom and then they land on your toothbrush. It's horrifying. Uh, but my toothbrush lives on my counter and has forever, so long live the poopy teeth. <laughs> Whenever I do pop into TJ Maxx, like I said, once a quarter, I do take a peek at their nail polishes. I've discovered over the years, when I did my big makeup declutter and clean out, I wear about three shades on my nails. I like dark purple, black, reds, different shades of reds, and then some pinky and pink mauves, that kind of thing, depending on the time of year. But I don't really stray from that very often. So I've just learned that I'm just gonna buy colors I know I will wear. I don't bother buying blues, greens, things like that really at all, because I know I won't wear them. Uh, but anyway, so some of my nail polish bottles are very old and drying up. So I purchased this uh, uh, OPI Heart to Party. I don't know if that's what it's called, but it's a super deep purple shade. $4.99 at TJ Maxx. See, this one is, how great is your Dane? <laughs> I guess because it's like a brown color, like a great Dane. It's kind of a mauve brown. It definitely has a little bit of something in there other than brown. But I liked that because it is, again, just kind of a dark, dark color. I see myself absolutely wearing this for holiday type things. It's Glitzerland. Instead of Switzerland, Glitzerland, and it's kind of a gold. Don't look at my face. Stop looking at my head. Thank you. I like this actually a lot better than a traditional like bright gold nail polish. I don't think I would wear that, but this looks cool. So hopefully I like it. And here's the great thing, which we haven't had a conversation about. And this video is going to be like a 45 minute vlog and I have no shame. I don't care. I'll push the gift inventory and talking about all that stuff into the next vlog. How about that? The great thing about having teenage daughters now is that I can pass stuff down to them. If there's something that I have that I just don't like, doesn't fit me well, or it's out of, you know, the return or whatever. Uh, anyways, I can just pass stuff down to the girls and they raid my nail polish and stuff all the time, which I don't mind. But um, if there's a nail polish color that I'm like, yeah, I'm just not really wearing this, then I can, you know, just give it to them and they can add it to their collection. So it's really nice. I went through and did a closet clean out and was able to give a bunch of my clothes to the girls. Uh, you know, some of it's a little big on them, but some of it fits and it's crazy. It's, it's just crazy. I had this whole stack of stuff and I thought they won't like this. They'll be like, I don't want to dress like an old lady. Um, but they didn't at all. They picked through it and they, they left behind one thing. They took everything else. So, um, that's fantastical. Then I got these T-zone strips. They're basically like the blackhead remover strips. And then 
I'll just tell Christopher he's not allowed to watch this vlog because this is for his stocking. He loves sour belts. Uh, so this is a big mamma jamma of sour belts. I got this microfiber cosmetic headband. So it's just one of those thick plushy headbands that you wear to wash your face or do skincare stuff, especially when I use my facial steamer, which I love that thing so much. So, so much. It really does turn just a regular old mask at home feeling into feeling like you're at a luxury spa. <laughs> CR comes in the bathroom and I'm just standing in front of the facial steamer like, nah. Anyways, keeps your hair away from your face while you're doing makeup or skincare stuff. So $3.99. Can't beat that. Can you even see that? The light is so bright. There you go. Not that you need to see what a headband looks like, like you can't figure that out on your own. You look from here, it just looks like a brain, like a smushed brain in a box. Well, it's a microfiber headband, not a brain. You don't have to take my word for that. So I wanted some jars for my bathroom for this very purpose, to store cotton pads and Q-tips and things like that, more in like a display fashion. And I have some amber jars that I found on clearance at Target, and that's great. I love them. I've moved them to my makeup desk to put my brushes in. So now I need something for my bathroomy items, like I said. They're $6.99, came with the cotton pads already in them. So I got two of them. Then we bebopped over to Pets. Well, they gave us thank you bags like the Chinese food place. So I can't remember if it's PetSmart or Petco, but one of those. I had to grab a few things for the animals at home, but uh, like hay and things like that, the rabbit hay, stuff like that. I don't have that here to show you, but these items I did want to show you. So I got Jesse Wessy this festive dog collar. It is a green velvet dog collar. I got her the Christmas plaid leash, that Magnolia, their brand at Target had like a plaid Christmas leash and I got that for her. And I did not get the collar though because I kind of like the different collar, different leash, whatever. Anyways, the green velvet collar. How cute is that? So I got that for Jesse Wessy. And then um, for Azzy, he's getting some mats behind his ears. So Chi, the brand, the hair brand, Chi, who knew? There's Chi for dogs. Did you know that? I did not know that. There's Chi for dogs. So this is a keratin detangling spray, paraben free for your DOG. How cute is that? Then I also got this for all the dogs. <laughs> this is a Chi for dogs, once again, rose hip oil, moisturizing waterless bath spray. You spray the dog from the back of the ears to the tail, avoid their eyes, massage into their coat, brush through for best results. I'm excited to give this a try. I'll let you know how I like this. If it smells good, if it works well, if it takes some of the stank off. Because of the haul, this video is going to be forever long and I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I'll see you guys again very soon.